Man, oh man, what a wonderful day to be alive, Alex. Yep. Here at the PXG store in Kansas City, Overland mm -hmm. Park. And I'm here to get fit with for my Gen 6s against the Gen 7. Oh yeah. Um, so here we are with Alex. She has been in the video where we fit, mm -hmm. I think we went with my 0211s. Yep. The first gen of that with my Gen 5s that mm -hmm. got me into the Gen 6. So go back and watch that video if you haven't. Yep. And we also did Woods and Drivers, but then we also mm -hmm. did a Black Ops video separate once I got the Gen 6 driver. Oh yeah. So now I'm in the Black Ops driver now. So mm. Alex, I'm gonna turn it over to you and uh, you can tell us kind of how we're gonna go about this fitting today. Awesome, thank you, Steve. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have you hit your seven iron, get your numbers from there. What we're gonna do is build out the exact same specs that Steve is playing now in the Gen 7, compare and show you how it's better. Biggest thing that we've seen so far in technology is better dispersion, a little bit better ball speed. We have a new core, it's called Quantum Core that we were able to change it to. Softest core that we have made so far. So I'm really excited for you to hit it. And see how it feels, okay. It's gonna be awesome. So we like this channel, and most people know, it's about bringing awareness to mental health for first responders. But not only us as first responders, but in society today, I think it's important that everyone stay aware of uh, stresses in your life, because it's a real thing. It changes you as a person, it changed me as a father and here today you'll see Riker hitting some mm -hmm. shots and the things yeah. I would bring home to my kids yelling I didn't like it it changed me as a human being mm -hmm. I absolutely hated it but I've learned mm -hmm. to be self-aware of what those stresses are and mm -hmm. so I'm trying to share that with my golfing fans my first responders and hopefully it makes an impact with someone so yeah using golf yep to decompress and recalibrate using the PXG name to help this mission so I appreciate you Alex no thank you so much I love what you do we appreciate you okay. here, Steve All right, let's get into it let's do it all right folks right now I'm just gonna hit some warm-up shots with this seven iron so we're fit with the steel fiber. What's the FC mean, Alex? Uh, this stands for a, more of a forward counterweight. Okay. And so what it's doing is it just has the weight in a different position in this guy. But steel fiber, it's gray shaft, half graphite, half steel. Fits a lot, a lot of players, especially previous injuries, things like that. Okay, so yeah, steel fiber, 115 weight. Mm-hmm. Warm up shots. Free mulligans at PXG. Yeah. <laughs> hey, likes to go left, doesn't it? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Still left. All right, we're warming up. We're warming up. So today I sat with the foundation tent, mm -hmm. standing, pimping the foundation at yep. this golf tournament. I'm making excuses. Hey, that just means My we're, back's go tight. we're golfers. We're golfers. We're golfers. That one went straightish. It's all that matters. But it was probably fat. What were the numbers on that one? It's all right, we didn't see anything. <laughs> there we go. Mm-hmm. Yep. Nice. Two in a row ish. Two in a row. We're getting warmed up. Hammered that one. Yeah, that one felt good. I even like the little fade. Oh I'm liking God. it. I love a good fade. All right, I think I'm warm now. Uh, that was a pull, but it didn't feel like it. It didn't look like it. That one's gonna be a little faded, felt like anyway. Mm -hmm. Yep. God, it didn't mm -hmm. feel like it was that far right. How far mm -hmm. right is that? That is about 17 yards. Yeah, offline. Probably hit it in the bunker, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't see a bunker out there, Steve. Oh, yeah, I don't either. It's a dog leg right. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Good ball. All right, Alex, the numbers you've seen so far, mm -hmm. someone that's 53 years old. Yep. This is for the senior golfers out there. Mm -hmm. How the numbers look with club, with ball speed and club head mm -hmm. speed. Which is really fun. How, how old do you say you are? 53. My dad would be really jealous of you right now. <laughs> is so, he 53? My dad is 56. Okay. Bless his heart, he's still getting out there. Good. So club head speed and everything's looking good. One thing that I'm looking at, ball speed right here, almost at 120, that's really good. Biggest things that I look at too, this smash factor, what this tells me, is pretty much how efficient you find the middle of the club face. So one four on an iron is perfect. So 1.4, we know that we're maximizing ball speed. Okay. Got about 170 carry here, about 181. One thing I'm intrigued to see though that I've seen Gen 7 can go a little bit higher. We want to see if we can get this landing angle up a little bit right here. This number is one that's the, one of the most important. This is how you hold greens right here. That's what, as I've gotten older, Yep. Yeah, there might be some swing flaws happening, mm -hmm. but that's also getting older. Right. I don't get the ball elevated as much to hold the greens. Correct. Um, obviously, getting lessons could help me with that, the right shaft. Yep. That's what fitting's about. So, mm -hmm. that's why I asked that question about mm -hmm. for a 53-year-old, for you know the people that are watching this, mm -hmm. I guess no matter what age, the launch angle, the landing angle is what you are looking for. But, yep. so I guess my question to you would be, you're thinking the Gen 7, just the face itself? The face itself, the, the core, a little bit softer, naturally jumps up a little bit more. Okay. We're also going five grams lighter in the steel fiber, going okay. to 110 grams, see if we can get a little bit more launch, because you still have plenty of speed, so you don't want to sacrifice any control. All right, folks, Gen 7, there's the head, hitting the seven iron. We have the steel fiber, 110, I like the, the black look oh, to it. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. Aesthetic is still important, you know? All right, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna look down at both of them here. Yep. You'll notice a little bit smaller heel to toe on the P's. Okay. From the sixes to the sevens. A little okay. bit more of that player's look to it. To the seven. To the seven, that's correct. I agree, it, it mm -hmm. looks more of a player's, it, it, to me, Wow, the way that's shaped up top compared to this one. Yep. That's, I like, it looks thinner. It is. But it, it's, yeah, so. It's almost not though, it, but it, the way they had it set up to where you can stand over it, have the confidence of playing something a little bit smaller profile, but yeah. still get forgiveness as well. Okay. So what do you think this 110 will do for me? I think it's gonna give you a little bit better height which we're gonna compare as well. See if we can get that landing angle to, uh, to get up a little bit. Okay. Warm up. Warm up. Not a bad miss. I'll take that miss. All day. That one's gonna be thin, but let's see. It's a good ball. You got, launch it a little bit higher. Okay. Nice. <laughs> uh -huh. I'll take that miss. Yep. I mean, so far, shaft feels good. Uh -huh. I like the way the profile of the head looking down at it. Yep. And like we've said in other videos, that's an important factor for The most important. If you don't confidence. like, right. If you don't like what you're looking at and you don't have confidence, that mental part will come creeping in a little bit. What was that yardage there? That was 173 carry, 185 right there. Okay, and that one felt like I compressed it. Mm-hmm. That one felt compressed. That was our best ball speed of the day. And look at this, uh -huh. this little baby fades, man. I rarely hit mm -hmm. that. I can't wait to show you your dispersion chart after this. Well, it, yeah, just before, and even that first one that I didn't think I hit great was. Mm -hmm. That one I felt like I saved a little bit, but let's see what happens. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm telling you. 
That's the biggest thing that we've been able to see with that. Misses are just better. A couple more and then we'll compare the numbers. Yep. Okay, I mean. Yep. Right? <laughs> I mean, visually it, it speaks for itself. Yep, it really does. That's a yank, but let's see how bad of a yank it is. That's bad. Hey, that's all right. You have to have one of those every now and again. Remind yourself you're a human. Yeah. That was a Yankee. <laughs> the Royals by the Yankees, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this three-game series coming up. I love that. Anyways, I'll let you get another good one, and then we'll... Uh, We'll look at some numbers. Yeah. Oof, nice. That one was munched. God, it didn't feel like it was that far left. Mm -hmm. I hit solid. It's about 10 yards off line. I mean, not okay. too bad at all. That one's gonna be right. Mm -hmm. God, I got excited the first four or five. I know, I know. I thought, I thought you had a magic button there, Alex. I, w I know, I know. I it says sold. Right, right. But it's not that way when you get fit. Right. I wish it could be. All right, we're gonna get this guy. Let's put these balls all straight. Yep. We can live with that one. All day. All day. So when we're doing a fitting, mm -hmm. we take out mm -hmm. the bad ones and take compare out. the better yep. hits, right? Yep. And the reason you do that is? You can see optimal. Optimal. Yep. Because yep. we're all gonna hit bad shots. Everyone's gonna hit bad shots. You know, even, even the pros hit bad shots. We wanna do a raw apples to apples comparison of when we have our of great strikes and even comparing miss hits to great strikes as well. Okay. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. You ready to look at some numbers? Let's look at the numbers for the folks. So I'm gonna pull up, what I wanna do is I wanna pull up best shot from Gen 7 numbers and then we'll go back and show you guys same numbers from the Gen 6 as well. So one thing that's really fun about this is you notice how ball speed jumped up to 125. That's huge, really good there. Biggest thing, Steve, you're really, you've got a very smooth tempo. So one thing that we look at too, you've got a great swing to compare these numbers to because look at this landing angle. Tour average, 45 to 50. Okay. That's your stopping power. So what we're looking at too, without changing anything, we went to five grams lighter in the shaft. Gen 7 with the quantum core, we were able to get a 45 degree landing angle. Not to mention 181 carry, about 190. I'll go back and click on the Gen 6 numbers for you guys as well to be able to compare. Okay. This was Gen 6, 119, 170, 181, 42 degrees here. So three degrees better stopping power. Yep. And that was 1.46. 1.4, 1.46. 1. 4, 1. 4, I think on that one you pulled up. Yep, yeah, 1.46, so. So question, and, mm -hmm. and most people might not know this out there, mm -hmm. that when new clubs come out, sometimes you change the loft on them. Yep. So that increases the distance. Yep. What is the difference between Gen 6 and Gen 7? There's if not. Any? There's not. Both 30 degrees on the 7 iron. Okay, so that's mm -hmm. something important I wanted to tell people because, mm -hmm. in my opinion, a lot of club companies try to trick people that you're getting more mm -hmm. distance. Well, they're changing the loft on you. Right, right. And again, back in the days, you know, Jack Nicholson and all them, they mm -hmm. did the same stuff with their clubs. Yep. So, yes, it's trickery, but mm -hmm. that, I just wanted to get this honest. Yep. There we go. We got it out there. Yep. So both 30 degrees loft, both pretty much similar specs. And that just shows you the, the technology change that we were able to do. This has been our most proud technology change of our core that we've made. So, I mean, right there, it's about six miles an hour faster. Six miles per hour faster. Five more on the smash factor, yep. which causes that to happen. Yep, causes that to happen. It causes that ball speed to jump up. Yeah. 
So, and the club head speed, let's go back to the Gen 6. Mm -hmm. Going a little bit lighter, you're actually able to pick up about a mile. And that's what faster. I was wondering would possibly mm -hmm. happen for senior golfers. Yep. I'm losing five grams from the Gen 6 mm -hmm. steel fiber to this one at 110. So I was wondering about mm -hmm. that because for the longest time, as you know, the first fitting I had the 125, I think. 125. In the KBS. Yep. Yep. And people kept saying, oh, there's still for you. You're Obviously, mm -hmm. the numbers are showing that. But mm -hmm. when we did this, the dispersion numbers and the distance and everything was better. All right, Alex. Something I want to touch base on because mm -hmm. you do have another new iron, which is the yep. Black Ops. Yep. So tell me what probably took so long from the Black Ops mm -hmm. woods and everything and hybrids mm -hmm. for the irons to come out. Yes. So Mr. Parsons, he doesn't believe in releasing a product until it outperforms and better than the rest. So in the previous the versions previous, and probably the, other products from other companies too. That, anyway. That's exactly right. And so where we got to with this was we were ready to let everybody else get out there and be able to experience this guy. Biggest thing with the Black Ops Iron Steves, and I'll show you guys up here too. This guy is a total game improvement club. So you can look and compare the two soles from the P head to this guy, much wider. Essentially, this guy, a little bit bigger top line as well. It is essentially streaming nothing but confidence here. Okay. This guy, better dispersion, miss it off of mitts hits. And it's an awesome entry level club. Your 20 handicap, even been playing for a long time, higher handicap golfers, entry level. Black Ops is an awesome, awesome club for them. Okay, so you, when we were talking off camera before we did this clip, you said, mm -hmm. There's no reason for me to hit this one. I'd, I'd hit it, mm -hmm. you know, that was 180 with, right. the, with the seven. Yep. The Gen 7, I'd probably hit this one 200 with a seven iron. You would. Because of just the technology and it's right. just the bigger head and forgiveness. And, Absolutely. And you would say that club's not for me. It is not for you. You're, okay. a, you're, a, you're a great golfer, you're a consistent ball striker. You've, play, you've also played something that is smaller. Like a like our P head, more of a player's iron, versus more of a game improvement. So okay. for you, I almost feel like too mentally standing over something a little bit bigger, as well, because our top line here is even yeah. bigger than our XP. It's pretty. And and like we talked about earlier, yep. this wouldn't give me the confidence. No. Could it, we all get used to hitting something? Yes, we could. Right. But overall confidence, it's something I'm already still used to. And yep. yes, I. Yeah, it looks good. The, the Gen 7 looks good to me. Mm -hmm. and, and with that 110 shaft in there mm -hmm. from Steel Fiber, uh, is there any other shafts you think, or that's it? I don't Like we said earlier off camera, we yeah. don't think there's anything to beat these. I have been, I have had the pleasure of knowing Mr. Steve Pope for, since I've been out to Kansas City. He's just been amazing to us. Um, and as much work as I have been blessed to do with you, you're not finding anything better than still fiber. It feels good. Uh, my elbows, you know, golfer yep. tendonitis hasn't happened in two years. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'd say that is the new setup for me. Anything else you need to add with it or the numbers? Well, you know, something to educate mm -hmm. people that are wondering, okay, should I go mm -hmm. with TaylorMade? Should I go with PXG? Yeah. Um, the biggest thing I see with all golfers, I never will not encourage you to go test what you're feeling, especially if you're shopping around. Because if you don't, it's kind of like, like insurance or cars. You just never know what you like. Right. When, um, Good so, advice. Yes, it's everyone fits everybody differently. I always recommend definitely go and get fit though. Hit them, compare your numbers and take those numbers when you go get fit to other places so you can compare because feel and look is a really important part of it too. Right. So I, I recommend that for everybody. You and know? again, we're not trying to just sell you PXG from what yeah. she said. It's go find what's good for you. Absolutely. Visually, what the numbers show. I can tell you when I first got fit for PXG here in Kansas City at Golf MD, mm -hmm. when they did the fittings there, the numbers were better with PXG, so I went with them. I did it right. against Tricks on it, I against a tie list. I did it against Taylor Made, mm -hmm. Ping. The look and feel for me, these numbers were the best for me at that time. Mm -hmm. And we've confirmed, now I haven't compared them against others, but I come back to these because I like the way they look, mm -hmm. I like the way they play for me, and that's just, that's for me. 
So uh, we're always going to take care of you here too. So yeah, I appreciate it. We uh, we appreciate you guys and all, always here to help. Especially Steve knows you know any former law enforcement, medical, active duty, military, medical. You guys also can get really well taken care of here as well. Yeah, something Price else they, they, you guys have done for the foundation that I run is you invite mm -hmm. us out here, let us have the three bays for a couple hours, and yeah. we bring first responders out here during the winter so they can, one, maybe get fit, mm -hmm. get better equipment, and two, play, have some fun, right. interaction, fellowship. So that's what it's about. I, and in closing, you know, this has been our relationship for the past couple years with these videos and, and doing this. Again, I already said, using the PXG name has helped the mission grow. Mm -hmm. Even people that aren't first responders have commented on the videos and said, hey, that's so cool. I've come out here and, and got a fitting because I saw your video. And that's what these are about. Mm -hmm. It's not only trying to grow the mission of mental health, but trying to grow this wonderful game. Yes. Um, and, and yes, using PXG's name. And I don't think Bob Parsons would care being in the military because he wouldn't have done the, the, the hero <laughs> program right. if and he didn't care for his first responders yep, as well. Mr. So. Parsons does a lot. He, he donates millions to um, where for mental health and he had suffered from being in the war, really bad PTSD. So mental health is really something that Mr. Parsons, you know, I like to help with and you know we all not all of us are are always perfect you know but no. if we all can support and help each other and just get better and play golf then that's what we're here to do yeah use this game help us decompress recalibrate and yep. really in my opinion with all this just just love each other we got a lot that's of hate it. going on in this world sometimes yeah so. we do but i love you i love you all right alex thank you all steve right, yeah i appreciate you yep.